everyone. Welcome to the Dr. Geo podcast. I am your host, Dr. Geo, where it is my goal to share with you much of my clinical research and insights and all sorts of lifestyle tools that will help you improve your urological function and live longer and better with age. Today, we're going to talk about physical movement and exercise. There's three types of physical movement. So there's physical activity, and physical activity means any physical movement. When you get up from your couch to go to the bathroom, that's physical activity. When you're walking to your car, that's physical activity. We have physical exercise. You're raising your heart rate there. The level of intensity is a little bit higher, whether it's because you're lifting some weight or you're doing some aerobic cardiovascular exercise. So there's a little bit more perhaps sweating involved, faster breathing, higher heart rate. Then there's physical training. This is when you're actually focused on training physically for something to get better at some physical skill. That could be you want to get stronger. So you do strength training. That could be you want better mobility. So you do certain stretches and movement exercise to gain better mobility. So why would we want to do any of these three things? Which area should we focus on, right? Isn't that what you would want to know? You at least have to do two things. You have to do exercise, physical exercise, and stay active physically even after you exercise. If you're not going to be physically active and you don't exercise, your body will break down with time, period, end of story. That's not my opinion. But I think most of you, like me, we want to live as long as possible with optimal functionality. And I believe in order to age gracefully, you have to put the work in like an athlete does to do great in their sport. So it depends what you want. At minimum, you need to do physical activity and physical exercise at minimum. If you're really going to go for it, then you need to do physical training. Exercise is medicine. It's a very powerful method of reducing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, things like metabolic syndrome. Look, if you were to ask me, Dr. Gio, what do you think is the cause of most urological problems? I said, wow, that's a tough question to answer. But if you press me on that question, I would say metabolic syndrome. This is a syndrome where people either have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, high insulin levels, high blood sugar. They're overweight or not overweight, but they have a big waistline. And anybody in that scenario have a higher risk of getting prostate cancer, erectile dysfunction, low testosterone, even kidney stones, BPH urinary frequency, nighttime urination. Physical exercise helps with that. What else? Mental health, less depression, less anxiety with physical exercise. What kind of exercise should I do? You want to do a fine combination of weight resistant exercise and aerobic exercise. So let's just say one day you lift weights, the next day you do aerobic. I don't care uh, what that looks like. If it's treadmill or going for a jog or whatever. But Dr. G, I mean, lift weights. I'm too old to lift weights. I don't want to lift weights. Hey, go back to my original question. What do you want to do to get the type of life and functionality as you get older? It ain't going to happen by itself. That coupled with the fact that the stronger you are, the harder it is for you to die. So the physical strength is equated to longevity. Not my opinion. It's a fact. You need proper balance of workouts, and also you need recovery. But the bottom line is you need weight-resistant exercises. You need to lift things. Okay, so what kinds of weight-resistant exercise do you need to do? If you're going to do push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, dips, you know, body weight exercises, go for it. That's fine. So you need to lift heavy things a couple of times a week. And sometimes your body weight is nice, is good, but you can hopefully rep that multiple times. And if you're starting from zero, right, you're not an exercise person, you never exercised, or you've been off of it for a while, then you want to ease your way in. You may need a personal trainer if you can get one. I think they're very valuable. First and foremost, you need to get a cardiovascular workup before you start any exercise. I think that's a good thing to do. You need to get a stress test and make sure that your heart can take it. 
Second of all, you can't function with fear. That is what's going to be limiting to you as you get older. And you're not going to live life at its best if you're going to function with fear. Yes, of course, anyone can get hurt from any type of physical movement. It's more likely for you to get hurt and injured from not exercising and doing weight resistant training. Now, my favorite is deadlifts because you get a lot of bang for your buck when you do deadlifts. Every single muscle from your big toe to your neck gets activated and stimulated when you do a deadlift. So it is my favorite. If you have to choose one, that's the one to choose. But there are multiple out there. And lastly, I would say, forget about being motivated before you go. Just go. You may not be motivated to go at first. It doesn't matter. Go. You deserve it and your family deserves it. I hope today's podcast is helpful informative and something you can apply right away. So much love. This is Dr. Gio signing off. Talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Dr. Gio podcast. You can watch all episodes of this podcast and much more by subscribing to my YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash Gio Espinoza ND. If you love what you heard today, you can help by leaving a five-star review of the podcast on Apple and Spotify, as each review helps us reach more men who are serious about improving their urological health and how to function better with age. And for the latest research and actionable takeaways in the world of men's health and integrative urology, sign up for my newsletter at drgeo.com. I'll see you next time. And now for a brief disclaimer, this podcast is for general information only, and we're not forming a doctor-patient relationship through this medium. The use of the information and all links associated with this podcast is at the listener's risk and is not to replace medical advice from a physician or a healthcare practitioner. Lastly, thoughts and opinions related to this podcast are my own and may not reflect the views of any institution or organization I'm associated with.